Maharashtra, amongst the five or six states here, uh, one of the most industrialized states in the country, one of the oldest states uh, in terms of industrialization. What is the new story that Maharashtra is hoping to sell to investors? Basically, there are <clears throat> uh, sunrise industries more into like I would say both semiconductor and uh, display fab. Second is like uh, solar wafer and modules, defense and aerospace, and of course IT and other uh, sector, and of course tourism, bulk drug, pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals, agrochemicals, textile, food processing, even like toys. There are like seven, eight, ten sectors which the state is looking at. Uh, since we are talking about semiconductors, I want to pick up the thread about semiconductors. And before I ask him a question about what Maharashtra hopes to do there, there's just a small story which I'm sure uh, he might have heard. But for you, the viewer, many years back in the early 70s, India decided to set up a semiconductor manufacturing facility. Very few people know this. And at that time, there were two states that were trying to get the plant that was eventually called the Semiconductor Complex of India. And... Two chief ministers, including the then chief minister of Maharashtra and the chief minister of Punjab, were vying for this. Uh, the Maharashtra government offered land near Trombe uh, and Punjab offered it near Mohali. But the decision was made because Punjab offered that entire land for just one rupee. This was just by way of history to lighten up this serious topic. But what are you now doing? to attract and what is on offer from the state of Maharashtra for semiconductor companies? The state has a very, like, uh, I would say, promising ESDM policy and which gives an upfront uh, capital subsidy. And state, uh, like, suppose, though it's like a declared policy, but we customize uh, to the customer. So because it's like more like a business secret, but we give the best. We I would always say we match and even outsmart any other proposals and secondly if you look at uh, typically an ecosystem the ecosystem which for example we look at like a pune talega chakan it's 10x ahead of any other like, ecosystem which is as of now available in the country uh, for, for semiconductor needs lot of water lot of uh, like uh, effluent generation and power stability the location which we are proposing we have a 1600 megawatt readily available power, power 24 by i would say 7 and water readily available. So that way is like one of the best ecosystem and look at like uh, semiconductor where it is going to. 36% goes to industrial electronics, mm -hmm. then medical electronics, auto and all like of course then mobile, everything. So the state has almost more than 20 to 25 percent of such components already there in the uh, state. So it's more than the ecosystem, it's a big customer also for the end product. So of course then we are the first choice for any, I would say the wise investor to be thinking of. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.